Hello all of you. Today uh, I am discussing about the lumbar vertebrae. Uh, you can easily uh, identify or differentiate the lumbar vertebrae with the cervical and thoracic. Here I am showing the cervical vertebrae. This is the very small one. We have seven cervical vertebrae. This is the thoracic vertebrae. It is slightly bigger than the uh, cervical vertebrae. We have 12 thoracic vertebrae. You will find a separate video for the cervical and thoracic in my channel. And then this is the lumbar vertebrae. It is larger as compared to cervical and thoracic. In the cervical vertebrae, the spine is bifid. In the thoracic vertebrae, the spine is longer and oblique. And this is our lumbar vertebrae. We have five lumbar vertebrae and the uh, naming we are doing like L1, L2, L3, L4, L5. Out of these five, the L1 vertebrae is atypical. Atypical means the features are going to be different than the typical lumbar vertebrae. Here I am holding one typical lumbar vertebrae. In the lumbar vertebrae, what we have, first of all I am discussing about the common feature of a vertebrae. So this is the body which is larger. There are two transverse process. There are superior articular process, inferior articular process and the spinous process. The spine of the lumbar vertebrae is quadrilateral and thick. It is not oblique, it is not bifid. And then the, these are the lamina. The two lamina from the right and left side join and these are forming a spine. Then this is the pedicle. The pedicle is a connecting part between the transverse process and the body. And this is the vertebral foramen. Now the differentiating feature for the lumbar vertebrae, what are the significant or uh, uh, the features which, which are only confined to the lumbar vertebrae? So in the lumbar vertebrae, we have two uh, extra processes are present. The one is called the accessory process and one is the mammillary process. So this is the superior articular process. On the back side of the superior articular process, here we have an elevation. This is the elevation which is present posteriorly to the superior articular process. This is called mammillary process. This is only feature of the lumbar vertebrae. Then the other process is the accessory process which present posterior inferiorly to the transverse process. This is the transverse process. The posterior inferior to the transverse process, we have uh, one more extra process that is called accessory process. It is, it is also said that the accessory process is the true transverse process of the lumbar vertebrae. These are called the falls. These represent the ribs, ribs like feature of the lumbar vertebrae. Though we know that the ribs are not present on the lumbar region, but it is said that these transverse process presenting the ribs like feature on the lumbar vertebrae. And these are our true transverse process, which are known as accessory process. Other than that, you can see the height of the lumbar vertebrae is more anteriorly as compared to the posteriorly, which, uh, which is responsible for the convexity of the lumbar spine. This more height is responsible for the convexity of the lumbar spine. Now, how you will differentiate a typical and atypical lumbar vertebrae? So just check the width between the superior articular process and inferior articular process. Here the width be between the superior articular process is more as compared to inferior. If this width is more for the superior articular process, it means it is a typical lumbar vertebrae. And if this width is equal or the width between the inferior articular process is more as compared to superior articular process, it means that vertebrae would be L5 or atypical. Let me show you. So here I am keeping the two type of the vertebrae. You can see in the first one that is a typical the width between the typical uh, the width for the typical lumbar vertebrae the width between the superior articular process is more as compared to inferior and here the width between the superior articular process and the inferior articular process is same if the width is same it means it is a l5 and if there is more width for the superior articular process it means it is Typical, it could be L1, L2, L3, L4. Let me show you one more L5. This is also L5 because the width or the diameter between the superior and inferior articular process is nearly same. This is also L5. Here is the same thing. The width between the superior and inferior articular process is same. But if the width is more in the superior articular process as compared to inferior articular process then it is typical lumbar vertebrae now i am again uh, repeating all of these things in hindi 
तो मैंने आपको लंबर वर्टिब्री के बारे में बताया है ये लंबर वर्टिब्री है इसकी बॉडी का साइज ज़्यादा होएगा अगर आप इसको सर्वाइकल और थोरेसिक से कंपेयर करेंगे तो सर्वाइकल का साइज सबसे छोटा था स्पाइन बाइफिड है थोरेसिक का साइज थोड़ा सा बड़ा और थोरेसिक का जो स्पाइन होता है वो ओब्लिक होता है इन दोनों को साइड में रखो अगर आप लंबर को देखोगे तो लंबर हमारे पास पांच होती है शुरू वाली चार टिपिकल रहेंगी उनके फीचर्स सेम रहेंगे पांच भी ए टिपिकल होएगी टिपिकल में भी आप देखिए क्या क्या फीचर्स हर एक वर्टिब्री में सेम होंगे एक बॉडी होती है जो कि बड़ी सी दिख रही है आपको ये ट्रांसस प्रोसेस है ये सुपीरियर आर्टिकुलर प्रोसेस है ये इन्फीरियर आर्टिकुलर प्रोसेस है ये स्पाइनस प्रोसेस है जिसको स्पाइन भी बोल सकते हो इसको हम लेमाइना बोलते हैं इसको आप पेडिकल बोलोगे उसके बाद में लंबर वर्टिब्री के पास दो प्रोसेस एक्स्ट्रा होते हैं एक को हम बोलते हैं मेमिलरी प्रोसेस जो कि सुपीरियर आर्टिकुलर प्रोसेस की बैक 